Hi, it's me, Teacher Isa, and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, you are going to learn the nature of electromagnetic waves. Are you ready? Let's get started! Let us have a short review. In the previous lesson, you have learned about the interrelationship between electricity and magnetism. You were also able to discover how an electric field could create a magnetic field and vice versa. So how can you describe electromagnetism? Always remember that magnetic field is created around a wire that conducts electric current. A coiled wire, known as a solenoid, acts as a magnet when current flows through it. A solenoid with a core of iron acts as a strong magnet which is called as electromagnet. Electromagnetic wave, as its name suggests, it is considered to be of both electric and magnetic in nature. So, in other words, an electromagnetic wave contains an electric field and a magnetic field. These fields are not made up of matter similar to what it is in a football field. Instead, electric and magnetic fields are the regions through which the push or pull of charged particles and magnets is exerted. So, charged particles and magnets can push or pull certain objects without even touching them. So, how are electromagnetic waves produced? Electromagnetic waves are produced by a charge that changes its direction or speed. Electrons are charged particles that can produce electric and magnetic fields. But in order to create the vibrating electric and magnetic fields that are the characteristics of an electromagnetic wave, electrons must move so a charged particle such as an electron moves back and forth or vibrate a changing magnetic field produces an electric field and in the same manner a changing electric field produces a magnetic field as you can see in the picture an electromagnetic wave is made up of an electric field and a magnetic field positioned at right angles to each other and to the direction of motion of the wave. Since these fields are located at the right angles to the direction of motion of the wave, electromagnetic waves are considered as transverse waves. This means that both electric and magnetic fields oscillate perpendicular to each other and to the direction of the propagating wave. So, just like other waves such as water waves and waves on a rope, electromagnetic waves carry energy from one place to another. But unlike other waves, Electromagnetic waves do not carry energy by causing matter to vibrate. It is the electric and magnetic fields that vibrate. This explains why electromagnetic waves can travel in a vacuum where there is no matter. But it does not mean that electromagnetic waves cannot travel through a medium. They certainly can. Like for example, can be transmitted with a medium, as through the atmosphere or without a medium as through space. Electromagnetic waves travel in a vacuum at a speed of 3 times 10 raised to 8 meter per second and denoted as C, the speed of light. The speed is slightly slower in air, glass, and any other material. To appreciate just how great this speed is, consider this. Light from the sun travels 150 million kilometers to earth in about 8 minutes. 
nothing known in the universe travels faster than the speed of light. Since all EM waves or electromagnetic waves have the same speed, which is equal to the speed of light, and that is 3 times 10 raised to 8 meter per second. This means that as the wavelength decreases, the frequency of the wave increases. So what are the properties of electromagnetic waves? Electromagnetic waves are known to possess the following properties. Number one, they are produced by accelerated or oscillating charge. Number two, they do not require any material or medium for propagation. And the number three, they travel in free space at the speed of 3 times 10 raised to 8 meter per second. And that would be all for this video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you!